This is the Daily Market Comment by Rafi Boyajian. I'm Maria Pashardis. Thanks for joining us at XM.com. Speculation that the Federal Reserve is edging closer to discussing a reduction in the pace of asset purchases dampened the market mood slightly on Thursday, though the lack of fresh catalysts also contributed to the lackluster trading. Fed Governor Randall Quarles became the latest senior Fed official to suggest that policymakers may soon have to start thinking about tapering. However, Quarles did also clarify that the Fed is still significantly short on measures for substantial further progress, reinforcing the view that any shift in policy is several meetings away at the earliest. His comments helped U.S. yields move further away from yesterday's lows. Hence, there's limited fallout at this stage in the broader markets, and a mostly positive open for European equities suggested risk sentiment might be improving after a mixed session in Asia. U.S. stock futures were in the red, however, dragged lower by tech shares, which have been underperforming lately. However, there is also some renewed unease about U.S.-China ties, which have come back in the spotlight as Trump's Phase 1 trade deal is set to expire at the end of this year. Representatives from both sides held talks on Wednesday, and while there doesn't seem to be much of a risk of a major flare-up in trade tensions in the near term, neither is there any sign of relations heading in the right direction. Fears of escalating tensions may be providing some support to gold, which has slipped back below the $1,900 per ounce level as Treasury yields rebound. WTI futures have been capped below $67 a barrel since March, and with the possibility that Iran may increase its supply soon, it's doubtful if the increase in demand from the reopening of the world economy will be able to offset it. In currency markets, the U.S. dollar was holding on to yesterday's gains, with its index against a basket of currencies trading marginally higher. The euro, which came under pressure on Wednesday from fresh ECB comments downplaying a tapering move in June, steadied around $1.2190. But the Aussie was flat, handing back earlier gains on the back of better-than-expected capital expenditure numbers for the first quarter out of Australia, as it was weighed by a fresh seven-day lockdown for the state of Victoria. This is today's Daily Market Comment. Thanks for joining us at XM.com.